Let's take a look at oiling the bearing on the LM guide for the press units. We're going to start by being over on press unit number one as the active press unit, which I've already done. And now we're going to simply remove the cover. This is where a magnetic screwdriver can sometimes come in handy. And we'll just set the cover down out of the way. And now we'll get a nice tight view of the bearing. The bearing's located right down here, and what we want to do is simply put a nice amount of oil all around it, and then we want to roll the bearing. We want to work that in. This bearing might be a little tight. It is up against the LM guide, so we want to work that around. Okay. Once we've got that oil worked in a bit, now we want to grease the head guide up at the top. So we come up to this head rail, and we're going to want to remove any old grease. So just taking paper towel or some Q-tips or a rag, we want to get in there, and we want to get the old grease out first. And then we just want to take our bearing grease and we want to put just a nice little coating of grease and we want to make sure, I'm doing the top right now, put a little bit on the front here, we'll put a little bit on the back and we also want to make sure we get the underside. So and get in there, get under here. That's going to keep the bearings that ride on this track nice and lubricated. And now we simply put our cover back on. Now when we put this cover back on, we want to ensure that we leave a little gap between the press unit and the edge of the cover. That'll make it easier to take on and take off put on and take off your press units. Now we're going to oil the bearing on the left hand side of the press units. So we're going to start by unit changing to press unit number six because the bearing is located right behind there. And just like before, we're going to remove the cover.
and that reveals the bearing. And we just give it a nice little bead of oil all around the bearing. And we just work the oil in. And I'm just reaching from underneath to spin that bearing. And now we put the cover back on. Again, when we do put this cover on, let's make sure that we don't put it too tight to the press units. We want that little bit of gap in there. And that is how we oil the bearings. And again, we want to make sure we do that at least once a month.